This week on Gadget, multiple monitor gaming goodness. Ooh. Stay tuned. Well, hiya, and welcome back to Gadget at the Techstop.net. It's time to get your geek on. I'm your host, Robert Balliser of the Society of Jesus, the California province of the Jesuits, a religious order of the Catholic Church, and I'm here today on location in the Hot Stage Warehouse in California. This is the staging area for the Interop Conference, which is the largest and most prestigious networking conference in the world. Behind me, you see the Powered Down Knock. Uh, these are the PEDs that are actually going to be running the core of the network. CMP and lead engineer Glenn Evans have graciously allowed me to film in the warehouse just so I can feel a little closer to that uber geek nirvana that we call Interop. Let's get on to the tech. Today we're going to take a look at, as I promised, multi-monitor gaming goodness. And to do that, we've got products from Matrox. Now, I know, I know what you're saying. You're, you don't associate Matrox with high frame rate FPS gaming. Maybe a few years ago, maybe a decade or so, Matrox was one of the major players for that gaming crown. But since then, they've relinquished it to companies like NVIDIA and ATI and instead have concentrating on making high resolution, high performance, high quality professional video solutions, multi-monitor, single huge monitor. They've carved out a niche for themselves, one that ATI and, and NVIDIA don't really feel like getting into. The question is, how do you get multiple monitor goodness from Matrox into the super uber cool first person shooter arena of NVIDIA or ATI? Well, the answer is remove the dual monitor and the triple monitor setup from the card and put it into these. These are the dual head to go and triple head to go boxes from Matrox. These are standalone graphics boxes that can take a single input and output them among many monitors. The idea is you can now take any graphic solution or upgrade any graphic solution without disrupting the way that your monitors work. Furthermore, rather than having several different monitors that span across desktops using either you know, Windows or Mac OS settings, you can now take a single input and split it out to multiple monitors, but to the computer it still looks like a single massive display. Now, in practice, these are incredibly easy to use. The dual head to go has one analog port on this side and two analog ports on this side and it's powered by the USB connection from your computer. It can display up to 2560 2, by 1024 resolution at 16.7 million colors and 60 hertz stretched across two 1280 by 1024 displays. The triple head to go ups that. Again it uses 1280 by 1024 displays but since it uses three monitors it can go up to 3840 by 1024 making for one massive widescreen monitor. Uh, now, you may say that you can do this with your current computer, but with most setups, you'd have to install multiple cards or use a second slot on your video card in order to span it. The problem with that is that in doing so, you're going to decrease the performance of your video array, and if you have an SLI setup so that you could run, you know, really, really, really fast frame rates, and you want to use for monitors, you can't run it in SLI since that would compress it down to, to one output port. With this kind of setup, you could buy one of these boxes, run it at your maximum frame rate in SLI, and then output to three monitors through the triple head to go or to two monitors through the dual head to go. Furthermore, anyone who's been using a laptop and has lamented the inability to have multiple monitors other than, say, the LCD screen on the on the laptop itself and an external monitor will now be able to run multiple monitors using this. The, the one caveat is that you really have to have a high-performance laptop that can output at those massive resolutions. 
Now we've put together a little video that will show you how easy it is to equip your system, be it a desktop or a laptop, with either the dual head to go or the triple head to go. So take a watch and see if maybe this might be for you. For mobile computing road warriors, the dual head to go is a wonderfully portable way to have three monitors run by your laptop. The box itself is quite simple. There are two VGA connectors at the top marked as 1 and 2, which correspond to the left and right monitors. The bottom of the box has a USB port to provide power for the dual head to go and a VGA input port to connect the box to your computer. Installing the box entails connecting a USB cord for power, then a short VGA cable for input. The USB cable is plugged into any standard USB port, and the VGA input cable is connected just as you would a standard external monitor. The final steps in the installation is to plug in the two monitors to the appropriate ports on the dual head to go. The dual head to go will then automatically detect the maximum resolution of the connected monitors and supply the corresponding signal to your computer, telling your computer that it is connected to a single large monitor. The wonderful part of this process is that there are no drivers or software utilities required to run the dual head to go. If you're using XP, you simply tell it to enable the new monitor and you're ready to work. As you can see, the two 19-inch monitors have now been combined into a single screen that has been set above the laptop, effectively giving me three screens on which to work. While two extra screens are nice, performance buffs and FPS addicts will definitely want the triple head to go. Setup is pretty much the same as with the dual head. The difference, of course, is that there's an extra connector to accommodate the additional monitor. You simply connect power to an included AC adapter and the input cable as before. Now all that's left is to connect the three monitors. Unfortunately, my laptop wasn't up to the task of driving 3840 by 1024 screens, so I connected the triple head to go to my desktop computer. As before, a few OS configurations, and the computer recognized the three screens as one massive monitor. An interesting note here is that my desktop actually has four DVI ports, meaning that I could technically connect four triple head to go units and have a massive 7680 by 2048 screen. While I'm sure that there are quite a few business and professional applications for such real estate, I'm thinking that the primary use of such a setup would be something like this. So a few final thoughts about the Matrox Dual and Triple Head to Go. These are actually quite remarkable boxes. They're flexible, they're high quality, they're easy to use. What, one of the things I really enjoyed about this was the first time I plugged it in, I never had to install any drivers. All I had to do was tell Windows that it was a really high resolution monitor. Windows outputted the signal and the boxes did the rest. The nice thing is that they're easily at home, both on the road with your laptop or at home with your desktop playing video games. Now, if you're going to be using a laptop, I would highly recommend the dual head to go because unless you're running a gaming laptop, you're probably not going to be able to support the ultra high resolutions necessary for three monitors. And the dual head to go can be found online for anywhere between $140 and $160. The triple head to go would be for those who want to use it at home for World of Warcraft or any of your first person shooter games. This is going to run you about 270 so it's a little bit more expensive, so you're definitely going to want to figure out what you want to use it for. Now, what I really enjoy about these boxes is that because they are card independent, I have the ability to move them from different rigs to laptops to desktops to replace the cards in my setup without having to worry about losing the investment I've made in the triple head to go. Now, Matrox has a digital version, but it's not really readily available. So if you need something now and uh, you're not worried about paying a little bit for it, I would highly recommend the dual and the triple head to go products from Matrox. It might be just the thing for uh, your Uber Geek Blas. Now, that's all the time we have for this episode of Gadget. If you'd like to find out more about the dual and triple head to go, stop by Gadget at www.thetechstop.net and click on the Gadget tab. Or you can write us at gadget at thetechstop.net. Now, I've been your host, Robert Ballasare, and especially in this mecca for Uber Geek goodness, I want to remind you that there's no Uber Geek without you. Take care. <laughs>